Hi, I'm Maya Sung. Um, I, I, my number is 14, and I like the U.S. soccer um, player uh, Rapino. Hi, I'm Bianca. I'm number seven, and I, my favorite player is Alex Morgan. Very good. Okay, the next person. Hi, I'm Sophia, and my number is 16, and I play forward or striker. And my favorite player on the U.S. women's team is Abby Wambach. Hi, I'm Lexi. I'm number 99. I play forward, and my favorite player is Alex Morgan. Hi, my name is Izzy. I'm number 13, and my favorite player is Alex Morgan. Hi, my name is Dana. I'm number 11. I play defender, and my favorite player is Abby Wambach. Hi, my name is Clara, my number is 24, and my favorite player is Alex Morgan. Hi, I'm Juliana, and my f <laughs> I play midfielder, <laughs> and um, my favorite player is Tobin Heath. Hi, my name is Gia, and I play left D, and my favorite player on the U.S. women's team is Abby Wamba. My name is Sammy, and I'm number 10, and I play center midfield, my favorite player is Alex Morgan. Hi, I'm Cammy. I'm number two. I play center D, and my favorite player is Abby Wombeck. Hi, my name is Hannah Foley. Um, my number is one. I play goalie, and my favorite player is Hope Sola. Hi, I'm Emily. I play right mid, and my favorite player is Megan Rapino. Hi, I'm Willie Hill. I'm number 19. I play midfield, and my favorite player is Megan Rapino. My name's Molly Myers, and I play striker, and my favorite player is Messi. Hi, my name is Juliana Kotios, and I play center mid, and my favorite soccer player is Messi. Hi, I'm Caitlin Dunkel, and um, I play forward, and um, my favorite player is Abby Wallback. Hi, I'm Sydney Presnell, and I play outside mid, and my favorite player is Abby Wombach. Hi, I'm Emily Ketring, and my position is midfield, and my favorite player is Alex Morgan. Hi, I'm Abby Ferris. I play left defender, and my favorite player is Abby Wombach. Hi, my name is Samantha Meyer. I play defense, and my favorite soccer player is Abby Wombach. Hi, my name is Victoria Navarrete. I play... S um, Center mid, and I like Cristiano Ronaldo. Hi, I'm Ryan Furbush. I play left mid, and my favorite soccer player is Megan Rapino. Hi, my name is Monique Landrum. I play sweeper, and my favorite player is Alex Morgan. Yeah. Hi, I'm Brooke Peterson, and I play defense, and I like Alex Morgan. Yeah. Hi, my name is Olivia Bonan. I play center mid, and I like Messi. Hi, my name is Olivia Gomez, and I'm the goalkeeper, and my favorite player is Hope Solo. Has everyone gone? Hi, I'm Natalia Del Pena. I play forward, and my favorite soccer player is Alex Morgan. Yeah. Hi, I'm Madison Steinberg. I play stopper, and my favorite player is Megan Rapino. From Francis Ryan Park, the community park here in Escondido. This is the girls under 12 championship match out of Pool A, featuring Fram from Palos Verdes and the FC Heat from Escondido. Esc Escondido's FC Heat is going from right to left, and left to right is Fram. And shift colors for all you sailors out there. We are underway, 30-minute halves. Both these two teams have played each other before. And Fram was able to win three to one. 
You saw the introductions of the young ladies, and they're ready for this match. There was not a match played on this field beforehand, so they got a lot of time to kind of stretch out and get ready. And that ball goes out of play. The throw in. Set forward as Fram. Lexi on the soccer ball now. Just outside the box, a shot and just missed the post. Well, that's the first shot of either team in this match. And now the goal kick went off the cleat of Sam Bam to the wide side now. Morger, 50-50 ball, won by Presnell. Kotsius, Fram, they like to pass the soccer ball around, do it the way it is supposed to be done to be successful in the world's most famous sport. And they do it quite well. We saw them in a 13 to nothing blowout in this tournament. But an offsides call now, and it'll be a free kick. Down the far side, Fram. Gia Cachon, but getting there providing resistance was Ferries. Abigail, nice play in the space. On to the near side, nil-nil, your score. Hopefully you got your beverage and your snack. We're just into the third minute of the match. Now this one's going to the 18-yard box. Here's a big opportunity and a goal! Go, 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 go! Natalie De La Pena putting it in the back of the net. And it is one nil. And she was unmarked into the box. And the FC Heat who had 21 points. With Fram had 29. But these two teams played each other, as I mentioned a while ago. And they got one goal against Fram. So they've matched what they did in that earlier match between the two. The final score was three to one, Fram. Song dispossessed. And here's Sai. We saw Fram earlier in a match in which they won 5-0 against another FC Heat squad. And they had only allowed one goal coming into this match. And that was the goal that FC Heat had scored against them. And now they've allowed two. Colsius to the near side for a run of her teammate. Catching and it is cleared out. Fourth minute of the match. They'll play a total of 60 in this one. On a high 90s degree day, close to 100 here in Escondido. And it got a cloud cover. Lots of humidity recently. The 18-yard box is blocked. Nice job done by Fram, and they do that well. They don't allow you a lot of time. In the 18-yard box, here's a long ball, and coming off her long, and making the save is Olivia Gomez. And Gomez gets her first save of the match on a second shot of the match for Fram. Big play by Gomez. But here they come again. Lexi now. Rojas dispossessed. 
Dunkel. Abigail Ferries couldn't hold on to it now and into space. Lexi. And it goes out of play. And it'll be a throw in. Escadito's FC Heat. A little bit of, bit of a breeze at times. Gets to kick it up. Looks like it is going to be going from at an angle, so to speak, across the field from where you see the ball being thrown in now. And just draw a line to the far post the other way in the 18-yard box. And a shot. And it's over the top of Fram. So they get Fram getting their third shot of the match. There will be water breaks in this match as extreme heat. Olivia Albarin is now into the match. And Molly Myers will mention any of the players that come in if we do see them. And if not, we'll just mention them as they touch that soccer ball. And that ball goes out of play. It'll be a throw in for the white and blue who lead 1-0 on the goal by Natalia De La Pena. And the central. To the near side now for Kettering. Kettering drawing it back upfield now. Nice diagonal pass. As Navarrete dropping it back to Peterson. They got their passing game going again. Navarrete, but could not hold on to it that time. Sent up field, but a high line. And Monique Landrum does real well in the deep back, driving it upfield. It's out of play, but that's not going to work against the white and blue because they lead 1 0. Every time it goes out, that is something that uh, Fram has to try and not allow to happen. They need to keep it in the field of play. Optimize their chances of getting the equalizer. Eight minute mark now. Myers and then a shot and a, off the side of the net. Molly Myers has shown that she is dangerous. We've seen her before on your GK Sports. I'm Greg GK Porter, the owner of the company. Navy retired guy, seven years now, along with Jim Costa on the video camera. Professional videographer, many years. Myers now going after it, but coming off the line there. Anna Foley, the keeper. Al Barron sending that ball down to Central for Kettrick. Can't find it, but now goes after it again. But just as she did, getting to that ball was uh, Maya Song, and Song clears it out. Nice alert play by Maya in space. Those are dangerous plays in and around your 18-yard box. And as a defender, you want to make sure that you get to that soccer ball quickly as you possibly can. Here's a chip into the 18 by Al Barron. Now running onto it. Victoria Navarrete and that ball is going to be sent way wide. FC Heat now in the 10th minute. Get three shots. Come on, come on. There we go. 
upfield. 50-50 ball. Fram winning it. Sending Landrum drifting back towards her 18-yard box. Able to win it. Showing her range, but clearing it out. Fram will throw it in, and it's girls at a 12. Championship match from Francis Ryan Community Park. Into the match, Brianne Ferbrook Bush, number 17. Samantha Meyer, number 11. Into the match, Juliana Kotsius is number eight. Into the match. In the 18 yard box, Fram with a shot and a goal! Go, 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 And it will not count as it was an offsides call. The center ref talked to the linesman on the near side. Just to clarify. And it's going to be a goal kick. Ah, the nearest set. Here's the speedy Molly Myers. And there's a foul into space. Maya Sung with a free kick. That is the second one for Fram in the match. It's not a matter of how many free kicks or corner kicks you get. Corner kicks are more of an indication of what you can do as far as or your chances in the match. Peterson. Fram winning it into space. Up forward, looking for Lexi, and Lexi could not get it. But now running onto it is Rojas. On the near side, FC Heat. Molly Myers showing her ball skills there. Gets support in the central. And it's going to be a foul. That's going to work against uh, Juliana. So the free kick now. Third one of the match for Fram. Down one nil, trying to get an equalizer here in the first half. Landrum deflected that ball and then they are able to clear it out of the 18 all the way up forward. Cami Jennings was there not allowing it to go past the midfield line. And so Fram still on a move. And their transition here is the car. Nice pass. Seam it. Up forward. Buying for it is Bianca Rojas. Lexi trying to get it. Couldn't get a strike now. Fram. In his face, nice work by Juliana Colchis, but here's the shot, and it hit the post! It hit the post that time! Fram down with five shots in the match, and that one was the closest they got to putting it in the back of the net up to this point. And it's central now with Myers, a quick touch, the give and go. The dangerous Myers, Molly Myers on a run in a box. Molly Myers goes down, and what will he call? He will call it against Myers. So it will be now a free kick in that 18-yard box. The fourth one for Fram in a match. It's so always dangerous as a defender. You have to be careful. You do not want to follow him in an 18-yard box. For those of you who do not know soccer that well, in that marked off uh, rectangular area, the defender fouls him. It will be a free shot 
at the keeper, known as a penalty shot. And the striker always has the advantage in a penalty shot. So it's a water break with a score. Escondido's FC Heat leading 1-0. We'll be right back with some more action here in the first half. Five shots for Fram so far in the match. Four for the FC Heat. Fram has four free kicks as well. The throw in to the speedy Myers. Myers on the near side. Myers beating a couple of players. A service now looking for somebody on the back side. And that is uh, Furbush, and that ball went out of play. It'll be a goal kick. And what a run by Molly Myers. We saw this before. Scored multiple goals in that 13 to nothing blowout earlier in the tournament. Just didn't have anybody with speed on the other side of the field or down the central to run with her that time. Al Barn, Fram intercepting in the central. It's the midfield area. Who wants the ball more? Sung. And that's going to turn out to be a free kick, the fifth one now for Fram. Victoria Navarrete drops it back. Monique Landrum, and Landrum sends it to the midfield. But quickly getting to it that time was Maya Sung. Sending it wide, but dispossessed. Her teammates were. To the wide side, that ball's going to roll out of play. But Escadito's FC Heat will throw it in. Leading 1-0. During that water break, the clock continues to run. We are in the 20th minute now. Only 30 minutes and a half in this Dave Shelton Memorial Cup 2012. Dave Shelton, a guy who was instrumental in community, making soccer happen. He was a former soccer player back in the 70s. And this is the tournament in Memorial of him, a memorandum of him, basically. Running on to that soccer ball is Morger. Juji. Got dispossessed there. And the deep back, Landrum's pass. Now finally getting to it is uh, Kotsius. Kotsius was able to take it away in that central as Fram had designs of going up the field. One nil. 21st minute of action. Greg G.K. Porter. GK Sports, Jim Costa on the camera. Coming in now, Sydney Presnell, number five for the FC Heat. And they'll have a throw in. Our side touchline, a battle there in the space. Nobody able to come out with it for FC Heat. But now, speedy Molly Myers trying to stretch him out wide, but it was blocked. Victoria Navarrete. And is out of play, and it'll be a throw in. That's Navarrete. We'll try and find who she can get that soccer ball to in this high 90s day here. The near side. Both teams just had their mandatory water break. Now we're in the 22nd minute of the first 30. Lily Hill had problems there in the central. Now she's got support. 
That pass not able to be connected with, but then a quick touch by Larkin, but she gave it away. And her alternate number that time, Ketring, gets things started up the field with Myers. Diagonal pass intercepted and smart thinking that time by Maya Sung. Or Sung, just kind of stepping in the passing lane that time. 50-50 ball, nicely brought down by Ketring. On the near side, Myers knocked down. We're working hard, keeping that ball in play. Ketring dispossessed there, but here's uh, Victoria Navarrete. Try to go wide, and a handball, and it's going to be a free kick. The first free kick for FC Heat, and they do a quick one. Showing how tough the back line is for Fram. They're able to get to that soccer ball. But now a great play by Coxius. And inside the 18 yard box. No call by the center ref. Song. Dropped back by Lexi to the near side. On the move. Emily Larking. Larking against Landrum. And Landrum takes it away. Monique Landro, good play into space now. You gotta be tough in the back. And Monique showed how tough she was. Out to the wide side. And that ball's gonna go out of play. But Escadito's FC Heat is gonna throw it in. A hometown team trying to win this match. They lead 1-0 in the 25th minute. Foley, her third save. That was the sixth shot for FC Heat in the match. And substitution as Abigail Ferries is coming into the match, number two, for Victoria Navarrete. Twenty-fifth minute, about five minutes left to play in the first half. On the move is Dunkel, but she won't be able to get to it. In the space, FC Heat winning it. Good passing out to the wide now for Emily Kettering. Emily's pass is deflected, and it'll go past the goal line, and it'll be a CK. So the CK, it'll be the first of the match for FC Heat. Leading 1-0. They'd like to add to their 1-0 lead with a set piece here. Will it be a short kick? try to keep possession or will it be an in-swinger or an out-swinger? These young ladies can get that ball into that six-yard box. And there it is. Not able to handle it was Myers. Goes past the goal line and it's a goal kick. Nevertheless, for FC Heat, another shot. As they have eight now in the match. Here's the dangerous Myers. Time and space, her service winds up on the foot of one of her teammates in a central. They want to get a strike. Can't do it as Fram stiffening up. However, they win it back again. Alvarez and just not able to bring that down was Dunkel as it kind of took a hop over Cleet. To midfield. Treating back is Brooke Peterson. It's going to be a throw in. As numerous substitutions come in now for Fram. See one of them being uh, Izzy Carr, number 13. And the others will mention as they touch that soccer ball. 
And center ref says, hold on. Let's try this all over again, the throw in. And it's 1-0, championship match in a girls under 12, Pool A. We hope that you've enjoyed it so far, and we still got a lot of it left. 28th minute, we still got 32 more minutes of soccer to be played, but here in the first half, the FC Heat are trying to close it out with the lead. Here's Myers, and Myers is going to try to be instrumental in that. She's got that speed creating problems for midfielders, defenders. Cuts it inside and was hopping there because uh, she was kind of nipped, but still got it to her teammate as they try to go forward. They're able to win it outside the 18-yard box. Otera being strong in the space, uh, cleared that out wide. Steinberg. Now taken away by Sam Bam Randolph. Sending that ball all the way upfield. Gia Cachon not able to win it there and continue forward. So now her teammates are going to have to retreat back a little. Not getting a lot on that soccer ball, but a nice play by Maya Sung to help out. You need that. Song playing that outside defender spot, being very wise, getting to the soccer ball. Peterson sending it up forward. Cleared out by Dana Ortero. Nice decision by Dana Ortero. Center ref will be looking at his watch soon, within the next few minutes. Vicky Navarrete back into the match for FC Heat. Goes out of play, it'll be a throw in again for the FC Heat. In the heat, here in Escondido, Francis Ryan, Community Park. As Fram on the long ball, but it goes out of play. Not able to get Cachon run onto it. Really working against Fram right now. There's nothing happening on their left flank. And FC Heat throws it in. The team that lost by two goals in a prior match in this tournament. Leading here late in the first half. Toward the 18-yard box. And now the double whistle. That is the end of the first 30 minutes. The last 30 minutes will be extremely interesting. It's 1-0. Escondido's FC Heat over Fram of Palos Verdes on West Los Angeles. Stick with us. We'll be right back for the exciting second half. Time to shift colors for all you sailors out there, past and present. We are about ready to get underway for the second half of action in this girls under 12 championship match. Going from right to left in the second half, the 30 minutes that Fram is going to have to try and get an equalizer in order to take it into an extra. Well, it won't be overtime, it'll just be into a PK scenario. And of course, FC Heat wants to try to add to it and be able to garner the championship. They're going from left to right. Fram right to left. Opposite of the way it was in the first half. So head coach Rob Van Hay trying to win the championship of this Dave Shelton 2012 Memorial Cup. And Pender Najjar trying to find a way to get an equalizer, his team, and be able to at least get the equalizer and then try and see if they can win it in regulation. And if that's not the case, at least take it in the PKs. Here's a shot from distance and a goal! A 
his blast from just outside the 18-yard box. Tough to see what was that time. I believe it was Larking who put it in the back of the net, but we'll have to check on that. Nevertheless, it is one to one. And that on the sixth shot of the match for Fram. Remember, they scored three goals against FC Heat the first time they played them. So they can put it in the back of the net. They just weren't able to do it in the first half. to the consternation of their head coach, Pinder Najjar. But every time you play a team, that gives them more and more of a chance to know how you play and what to do to try to defend you, as well as try to put it in the back of the net themselves. The dangerous Molly Myers for FC Heat is gonna to try to do just that in this match. She has created a lot of problems. Running up and down that flank. The left flank it was in the first half. Otera sending that ball up forward. Goes all the way down and being able to make the save. Only her second is Olivia Gomez. Lily Hill and Victoria Navarrete hustling. Good throw in by Gia Cachon. Coming off her line, making the play is Hannah Foley. Hannah into the center circle. Went just right by Bianca Rojas. Lily Hill. On the run to the near side. Seaman, Sophia. Sophia still on the run. Lots of pressure and dispossessed there. Victoria Navarrete settles it. And a heavy touch that time as she tried to turn. So it'll be a throw in on the near side. Gia Cachon will throw it in, but no, there's gonna be a substitution from the far side. As Izzy Carr comes off the pitch and so is uh, Bianca Rojas. Right here from Francis Ryan Park, the community park in the shadow of Valley High School. Right here alongside Hidden Trails Road. Nestled up against the mountains that you have seen throughout this match. In the central, going down was uh, Sam Bam Randolph. And that's going to draw a free kick now for Fram. This will be the sixth free kick as the humidity kind of kicks in a little bit more, obscuring the sun a lot as the summertime, this time of year, a lot of that subtropical moisture and everything coming across the Gulf of Mexico and all that. Yucatan Peninsula up into this area and stopping it there was 
Olivia Gomez. But since she last touched it, it goes past the goal line. It's going to be the first corner kick of the match for Fram. Cammy Jennings, Cam Bam. Short possession play to Morger. Takes a shot and misses the second post that time. So not a bad strike by Juji. Seven shots in the match by Fram. Greg G.K. Porter for G.K. Sports, along with Jim Costa, bringing you the sights and sounds from up high. Watching this championship match that is all knotted up at one. Fram having the clean sheet in the first half, but they got the goal here in the second half. Down in central. Got Sean. In the central. Deep back, but outside at 18 yard box, they get a shot. Just in front of the speedy Meyer. She almost got a touch on that. Is Hannah Foley. Foley, her fifth save of the match. And now it's going to be a free kick. Outside the 18. Getting over there to clear that quickly was Maya Sung. Nice decision by Maya. Get over to that soccer ball. In the 18, and boy, that was close to the line. That's working hard. It was Natalia De La Pena. And Natalia, remember, she scored that first goal. In the first half, first goal of the match for either team. Navarrete driving that ball. Well, that was actually Landrum. 50-50. Winning it there was uh, Sammy Randolph, sending it up forward. Going down was Jennings. We got a little physical. Both teams badly. Wanting to win the championship. We're in the 10th minute of the match now. In the second half, so you add that to the first half. So that's the 40th minute in totality of the match. And that's the way they like to call it, the 40th minute. This one's into the 18 yard box, but no problem for Olivia Gomez. That on the eighth shot of the match for Fram. Molly Myers, the speedy one, goes down. And it's going to be a free kick. They can easily get this one in the 18-yard box. It looks like it's going to be Monique Landrum is going to take it. Landrum, Myers just missed the second post that time. Came to that soccer ball and tried to sneak it past. Hannah Foley, but just missed. Still 1-1 match. Into the match now, Olivia Albaran, 13 for FC Heat. Myers deflecting that soccer ball. Her teammate couldn't get to it. Nice sweep that time by Sam Bam all the way up forward. 
all in the same motion. Those are great soccer plays. Into the 18-yard box, and a collision, and Gomez able to hold on to the soccer ball. What a save by Olivia Gomez, getting her fourth save of the match and had to take the physicality of that play. But a big save. Now Fram, well their players looks like she's going to come off. And she is hobbling. Juji Morger got hurt on the play. In his 1-1 championship match, Dave Shelton Memorial Cup for 2012. Center ref now. Allows play to continue. FC Heat. Trying to continue to go forward. De La Pena throwing it in, but center ref stops play. And the FC Heat will throw it in. And now another whistle. Give me a good throw in. Doesn't work for either team since they're both tied at 1 1. The second half. 43rd minute of the match. Play 60 today in this championship. Right here at Francis Ryan Community Park in Escondido. On a move. Lexi goes down and gives way to Landrum. And Landrum brings it up from the deep back. All the way to midfield. They got the high line, but now here's the speedy Myers. They have to be careful with her. As Myers gets back to the soccer ball, still hustling, finds a way to get the ball wide. Dana Ortero and then Navarrete. This pass was intercepted. She was looking for Myers. Didn't get there. The near side. Getting over there quickly. Easy car. Maya Sung down to Central, taking a shot, and it just missed the near post. Ten shots now for Fram. The breeze and the cloud cover is brought the heat down a little bit. Still an extremely warm day here in Escondido. Randolph, Landra, trying to find her teammate there in the space to control it, and that is Ferries. She does a fine job getting it over to the wide, but they're not able to go upfield. Although Navarrete coming into the space that ball still was struck all the way down for a save by Olivia Gomez, her fifth of the match. Eleven shots now for Fram. Victoria Navarrete, who dropped it back, her teammate. His pass intercepted there by uh, Gia Cachon. Now in the central, long distance, Sam Bam's shot is way wide. It'll be a goal kick. One one here in a championship match. Landrum 
Cashon, the intercept. Or rather, Randolph intercepted. And now Bianca Rojas going after it. But Ferries gets to it first. Abigail Ferries. A lot of pressure. It's taken away. But the pass upfield goes out of play. As Maya Sung ran out of real estate to be able to get to it. Center ref says you got to move it back with the throw in. Here now, in the 46th minute of the match. The throw in for Fram of Palos Verdes, West Los Angeles. Very nice area. Western part of Los Angeles, along the coastline. Upfield. Song's pass was intercepted. Or rather, Cashon's pass was intercepted. Getting to that soccer ball was Olivia to Myers now. Going out wide for De La Pena. She scored the goal. And it is out of play. As protecting right there in the space was Bianca Rojas. She had help there in a big play. They're going to be a throw in. Caitlin Dunkel will come in now for the FC Heat. Forty seventh, forty eighth minute now of the match. Only going to play sixty in regulation. And it looks like it's a water break time. So, the score is 1-1 here in the championship. The girls under 12. Stick with us. We'll be right back. So, the water break is over. And now, we're in the 50th minute. About 10 minutes left to play in a championship. Otherwise, with the purest hate, the dreaded penalty kicks. FC Heat has played a lot better in this second matchup as they have not allowed themselves to fall behind to this point. Not like the first match, even though it was a three to one score. In favor of Fram. But can Fram be able to Find a way to get ahead. Come from being behind. And then put pressure on the FC Heat. Or will the FC Heat, who took the lead, be able to take the lead again and have it stand up? In the 18, and coming off her line is Hannah Foley. Shot from distance, but struck well, but Foley able to make the save. Getting her fifth save of the match. Up forward now, Lexi, Levine. Lexi still on a soccer ball. Service, and it's at the back of the net, a goal! Go, 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 Two to one. It looks like it was Sophia Seaman who deflected the ball into the back of the net. And now they have what I just mentioned a few moments ago, the lead now. Coming from behind, 1-0. But can they have it stand up? That's the other part of what I mentioned. We'll see. Or will the FC Heat? find a way to even it up again. Well, they didn't even it up last time. It was Fram evening it up, but they could make it even as a statement in the match. Free kick, Landrum looking for Myers. It didn't get to her. Two free kicks now for the FC Heat in the match. Landrum again, ranging over there. 
And driving it upfield, and Myers tried to run onto it. And she had the collision, and in doing so, it went off of Fram. So the throw in. Smart, heady player, Molly Myers. I mentioned early on in this match, Myers in a 13 0 blowout. Got the game started and just continued to score, had a hat trick. And her teammates started to add more to it. And she just decided, I'll distribute it. And we'll put it in the back of the net, collectively. Here's a chance and a save by Foley. The seventh save of the match. Seaman drops it back. Song. Pass is intercepted by Landrum. Coming into the space there was uh, Dana Otero. Otero, and she sent that ball up forward. But quickly, the FC Heat throw it into Myers. Myers not able to hold on to it for a longer span of time, and that ball sent all the way down to Gomez, and Gomez getting her sixth save. On it now, Morger, who was hurt at one point in the game here in this second half, back into the match. Juji and her teammate working hard on the near side, Lily Hill. The service into the 18. Trying to get a good quality strike in that 18. Juji, pass deflected and coming off her line again is Gomez. Played herself a whale of a match. And a keeper position, keeping this match two to one. Intercepting it into space, nicely done by Fram. Sending that ball all the way down to the 18 yard box now. Sophia Seaman who scored that last goal. Juji Morger going to the central. Left footed try, blocked away. Hustling over to get it is Presnell. They take it away. It ping pongs around in the 18 and you don't want that if you're the FC Heat. Maya Song running onto it. Song drops it back. Izzy Carr for a drive. And not a problem for Olivia Gomez. Olivia, her eighth save of the match. Morger, Juji, shielding off. Albarin and a shot at it. Deflected. The header try went wide. Total of 15 shots for Fram in the match. About three minutes left to go in a match. 57th minute. Official time by the center ref. Lily Hill comes off the mat, uh, off the pitch. We're out of the match. Easy car. Sending it all the way down. And Gomez just lets that one go by the goal line. Since time is running down, they want to kick in the urgency now. It's a couple of minutes left to go. A shot from distance, and it goes past the second post. Seventeen shots in the match for Fred. Running on to a Gia Cachon. They want to get it up forward. 
quickly met with resistance by Sam Bam. Sending it all the way back to the attacking third. Juji Morger. Victoria Navarrete still on it and gets it forward. Cleared out, the throw in. Fifty eighth minute of the match. Goes out of play, not being able to keep it in was Presnell, was way overhead. Navarrete stopped it from going forward, however, we had to retreat back a little bit, able to collect, but then give it away. And again, the dark blue. The onus is it for them to try to score. Just keep it from going behind them. Making a tough play. There's Myers putting pressure, though, to try to do just that. In the central back, they're able to get it wide. Delhi. Rojas. It goes out of play. They'll be able to throw it in. Fifty-ninth minute unofficially. Center ref has the official time in his championship match. The Dave Shelton Memorial Cup for 2012. Pressure into the danger area. Blocked out. But a shot from distance and batted away by Gomez. But another try. Just couldn't do anything with it there. But another shot for Fram in a match. Near side, getting to it there is Cashon and driving out. Just helping her team even more. Maybe about 30 seconds left to play in a match. Landrum, nice header that follows it up. So get it going forward. Knows that Myers is there, but doesn't get to her. However, now they have it. Here is Akotsius. Sends it wide. All the way outside the 18 yard box for Myers now. Myers trying to find somebody in a space and did not because there was nobody there. Otero drives it out. And that's the end of the championship match. A fabulous match played here between Escondido's FC Heat and Palos Verdes Fram. And Fram able to get the goal here in the second half and win the championship two to one. We hope you've enjoyed all of the action. There will be the upcoming ceremony where the teams will get their hardware and the medallions. Stats on a game. A total of 18 shots for Fram. They had one, they had a total of six free kicks totally. One corner kick. And they had a total of six saves for Hannah Foley, the keeper for FC Heat. Their keeper, Olivia Gomez, played fabulously. And if she doesn't, this is a bigger score. Eight saves for her. One free kick, one corner kick, and a total of eight shots for the FC Heat. We'll be back with the championship award ceremony in just a moment, right here at Francis Ryan Community Park. So stick with us. Shelton Memorial Cup, we'd like to thank you for participating in our tournament. You guys played an amazing job of soccer. You guys are obviously amazing because you guys ended up in the championship. So give yourself a round of applause. Also turn around and applause your
your coaches and your parents for being in this heat this weekend too. That being said, I know watching the game, I was totally hot watching all the games going on, but I give kudos to you guys for playing in the heat. So without further ado, I'd like to present our finalist, FC Heat and Coach Rob. Congratulations. Thank you, Aaron. Uh-huh. Hi, thank you. Uh, I want to first thank Fran for making the trip out here playing this tournament. I really appreciate it. You guys gave us a couple really good games, and we enjoy playing against you. Um, but I want to take my, you know, thanks again to my team. They uh, really stepped it up in the second game compared to the first game. I like the progress. It's just keep moving forward, keep moving forward. It's always about development, and, and I'm seeing that, so I couldn't be more proud. I'm very happy with your performance. I know we still have some room to, to work on, some things to work on, but we're getting there. So stick with it, positive attitudes, and, and everything will work out. All right, we're just going to get right to it with Brookie over here on the end. All right, good job. All right, Abby. Mo. Olivia. Olivia. Very much. Thanks, tournament. Good job. You're welcome. Good job, guys. Now, I would like to thank Orange County Fran for coming and traveling. And this goes to you, ladies. You well deserve, coach. Do you want me to hold that for you? Okay. And I just gave you time to keep going. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, like coach, uh, was it Rob? Rob. Coach Rob, um, I'd love to thank you guys over here. Great tournament, great games. Um, thanks for inviting us out here. We d we definitely, as a team, improved because we played you guys, right? Because we had some great competition. Thank you very much. Can we go around the board, please? Right. Thanks to uh, a special thanks to Susie for accommodating me. I was in two tournaments this weekend. Schedule wise, she made my life great. Thank you, Susie. Thank you, Gerard Ball.
big round of applause for going for two goals in this tournament. Actually, yeah. 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 Lisa, let's go. Come on, Lisa. Come on, Lisa. <laughs> this, is, this is my assistant, Mike. <laughs> let's take a picture with the cut, guys. Go. Let's go to the goal. Let's go. Yeah. 